So if you have a Cobalt Toolbox, uh, this is 3000, 300, I think it's 300 series. Mm, has the radio and everything right here. Uh, if you try to rekey to your uh, different different lock, different I'm sorry, if you try to rekey the lock to the different uh, key, most likely if you ever do, do with the open drawer. Don't do with uh, don't do with uh, draw it's closed because mm, you're gonna end up like me. You're gonna mess it up. You have to break break the lock. So this is what's left over. And uh, when you call customer service, forget it. It's impossible to get somebody. So what I did. I just look up on some uh, specs because this is the smart key. So if you see, uh, this is the smart key, and this is the lock right here, and this is what's left off from the old one. I have to destroy it. I couldn't open. I tried to pick it, but uh, uh, not really good when they're picking uh, smart uh, smart locks. The regular locks is alright, I just uh, this one was like uh, a little bit difficult, so I broke break those things. So this is the deadbolt cylinder. So if you look in the deadbolt, that's a quick set series, and this is looks like that. So this is the quick, this is the deadbolt series, but um, it has a different back. So the back doesn't match really to this because I was trying to match to the same groove. So I was able to match the bottom lock actually because when I open the bottom lock, if you ever want to open, you have to uh, break this. This is some lever right here to remove the pin. This pin right here. So you have to move this one. I'm sorry. You have to move uh, one over here. Oh, this one right here. This pin you have to move it to remove that shaft, and then you have to break that stuff because it's held by this pin right here. So after you remove that, you'll be able to remove that ring. So you remove that ring. You got almost everything, but inside it's held up by those two pieces of metal inside let me just one hand it's gonna be difficult anyway but it's just uh, try to improvise so there's a uh, inside there's like those uh, two pins so what you have to do you have to sneaky sneak sneak right here and you have to bend this one all the way down like that and you'll be able to remove the whole cylinder from inside so when you do that you have to rekey because if you have the key you're good you can rekey it but um, if you need to reset it you have to open that cylinder and then you'll be able to this one you can open right now so you have to remove that sitting there, remove that, I'm gonna show you on the next video, so. But uh, yeah, this is the working lock right here. It's no problem, now I can put this back to this. And uh, that's it. So if you're ever gonna rekey the lock here, make sure you have your drawer open so you don't have to destroy the lock. And uh, so you'll be able to save that if you if you if you, because what happened is if you when you have this lock right here so this is your lock position and if you turn this this way the weight of that draw right here let's say you're gonna just try to reset it so you remove the key and then you're gonna try to put a different key and automatically that draw the the pressure is gonna flip and not supposed to do like that so and then you screw it 
and you just you have to because it's reset to the no key so and then you end up you know drilling or just uh, remove if you have the drawer open that'd be alright so yeah this is it I hope you understand if you have any question let me know